G'day guys, Sci-Fi back again with another action figure review, more like a subscriber's choice, number 81. And <clears throat> this one goes out to my mate Hatch, another Aussie YouTuber, very good with um, comments down below, very knowledgeable about collectors, collections, sorry. And yeah, sorry I haven't been out there. Um, yeah, I've been very, very busy with real life. And I'll get, I won't actually describe all of that, you don't need to know. But yeah, work is hard. And other things have been coming up as well. Real life stuff. But we'll talk about that later. But anyway, so, Hatch said, uh, could you show me uh, your Umpas Stay figure? If you don't know who Umpas Stay is, you're going to find out pretty shortly. So here we go. Umpas Stay. Let's hopefully get some focus in on that. There we go. That's Umpaste and his buddy Akrev from Return of the Jedi re-released movie. These weren't in the original. The Jabba the Hutt's band was very much only like a three-piece with a singer. And then they suddenly added all sorts of aspects to it, other musicians and dancers. So here we go. How cool. These figures, this Unpass Stay was released in 20, 2007 on the 30th anniversary card, and believe it or not, Akrev was released in the Legacy Collection a couple of years later, but they all joined together with the drums. So, yeah, he's the big heavy Clartoonian drummer. Check it out, pretty solid figures. We'll go from right to left. Check out that. About 10 points of articulation, swivel elbows, I know some of you guys don't like it, and the uh, ankle swivel, wrist swivel, that must, hang on, that might make it another two, so 12 points. So, <clears throat> let's have a quick squiz. His uh, hat does come off, if I can get it off. There we go, yeah. He has the his shawl on his head. It's on fairly nicely. It's pretty cool. Now, as I said, solid figures. Back in the day they made these figures, there was a lot of plastic involved in it and a lot of detail. Look at the clothing. Face sculpt. Everything, even little Amazing, absolutely cool. And <clears throat> yeah, I've discussed this with Hatch and a couple of other subscribers of mine, and a couple of people that just comment and say, yeah, 2007 was one of the best years for collecting, and it was because they just brought out tons and tons of blink and miss background characters, aliens, uh, droids. Yeah. Um, you don't see that much these days. It's just repacks of bloody Anakin Skywalker or Obi Wan or C three PO or whatever. But anyways, getting back to this, I'm not going to rant about that. Uh, yeah, the drum, or it's just known as a power drum, that comes in two sections. It comes with these foot pegs, which are no, they're useless because. I mean, yeah, I've got my guys on the stands just so I can move them around without them tipping over. But that's way too high off the ground. So anyway, so when they're packed, the those fold like so. Then you can just quickly spring them back. Hopefully, yeah. And then you put them together. So yeah, one line of figure, two well two two separate lines, and they both manage to join together. The legacy collection and. 30th anniversary. So yeah, here's Akrev of the Weequay species. Uh, what's he? Uh, Sri Lur from the planet Sri Lur. He's a Sri Lurian from the Sri Lurian monastery that worships thunder gods. That's where he got the idea to play drums. So it says in Star Wars law. And again, Hasbro did not muck around. 
probably about 12 points of articulation, but I could have repacked his head, like a, he's a weak way. Could have done, done the skiff guard instead. No, look, new face, gave him an earring. And also his braids are coloured. How nice is that? How cool, everything from the, the clothing, the detail, the paintwork. There's such colourful figures, both of them. <clears throat> and I tell you, if you're a hut displayer, this was the line. These were some of the guys to get along with the other musicians and dancers, yeah. Uh, I think someone a few months, oh, I don't know, six, seven months ago wanted to see all of the dancers and that, but I forget who it was. I should have written it down. These days when anyone asks for a subscriber's choice, I write it down so I don't forget. And if you do want to see anything um, of any line of figures, I will you know, drop me a comment down below and I'll let you know. What do you reckon? I love these guys. And yeah, <clears throat> again, Hatch was a great, great time of, great time to collect back in the day. They had everything out then. Everything from Clone Wars cartoons Creature cantinas, figures, hut figures, droids, amazing. And uh, I had a quick squiz as well, because I mean, you probably say how much will these cost? Well, back in the day, they cost the normal price. I got the Unpaste on a very cool Australian website called Case Fresh. Australian buyers and a couple of um, American buyers, uh, JCCG, he understands. Case Fresh were great. You just bought the whole box, the whole set, and free packaging if you bought over 80 bucks, which was definitely over the card, over the, every card that you can get in the case. Um, <clears throat> so the last one I found of Unpassed Day on eBay, and it could have been an old page, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, it could have been an old page, um, but yeah, 50 odd dollars on the card. Not available, but you know, I guarantee if I was looking around, I'd probably find another one, maybe. But I had to be quick. And also, Amazon said they had one, but they don't ship to Australia. Who cares? Amazon. I've had some pretty bad run ins with Amazon, but, anyways, I'm not going to go into details, but they, they can't pack for shit. Your pack would be bent and what knotted. Uh, for Akrev, he is available on eBay and only going between around 2025 on the card um, from the Legacy Collection. So yeah, hop on in if you want, guys. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm glad you liked. I hope you like anyway. Yeah, because they're great figures. A welcome addition and an excellent addition to your display or even your carded collection. Yeah, they look cool on the card, even though you can't get the whole drum to sit together. So, anyway, that's about it. Um, yeah, it's my wife's birthday tomorrow, so... Uh, I'll be busy with her, and on Thursday, getting her gifts, a gift, which I will film if you like Harry Potter. Sorry, guys, I do more than just Star Wars, but... And also other subscribers of mine know I don't just do Star Wars, but other lines of fantasy figures and whatnots, and yeah, Manny, I will get your subscribers' choice up soon. Manny wants all my alien NECA figures, so if you want to get into that, I'll show that up hopefully soon, and hopefully with a new NECA alien figure as well. That'd be great. And not much else after that. Uh, yeah, so my wife's Prezi that I'm going to get her, and Manny's subscriber choice but yeah i don't know not much else coming up um my mother's birthday's around the corner after that and then after that is christmas i am working over christmas and still need more shells there's nothing new in the last jedi collection yeah amazing eh? some of these last jedi figures the amount of plastic involved and compare it to this you know these are solid figures they do stand well i'm just using them so I can move them around without them tipping, as I said before. Yeah, um, I knew I had something else to say, but I forget it. But anyways, 
Yep. If anything else comes up, I will review it. Anything new in the way of Star Wars or any other line of figure that I collect. <coughs> yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, again, whatever figure you want to see, drop your comment down below. I will do it. All right. Here we go. Anyways, um, yeah, sci-fi out. Ho hopefully to catch up with your videos soon. I'll see you all then. The Force is with you. Always.